Okay, I'm doing a video of how to um, unlock your bootloader. That's a new video for the HTC One Max. Um, I have the Sprint version because it missed a couple of steps on the um, new um, instructions on the HTC Dev. So um, I finally searched and searched and searched on the web watched the video and saw read the stuff in the background of the video and finally i was able to unlock my bootloader so um to help all you guys be able to do the same um the first thing we want to do is um First thing we want to do is get our HTC One Max here. And I just wiped it and everything because I was trying to get this 4.4.2 um, off of my phone. First thing we want to do is we want to do the bootloader. Now you have to go inside your phone and make sure that you have developer options. Um, and you have USB debugging checked. Um, I'm not going to show that because it, I'm using two hands to try to record and it would take too much. Um, so, do the developer options. You can Google it if you haven't done it yet. Um, I press restart because that's easier to do with one hand. And while it's restarting, I press the volume down button. But they tell you to turn it off and press the power and the volume down button. And that should go into your bootloader. I prefer to press restart and power down button. And that's what I'm doing. Um, now it is loaded into the bootloader. It's really blurry here. I can't even get it to come up a little bit. But you have to select fast boot, which is the first one listed. And press your power key. And then connect your phone oh it almost came in just now and then connect your phone to your computer okay so we have that done once you connect it to the computer you're going to have to be at the HTC devs um gonna type it in where the computer comes in good htcdev.com you gotta click unlock bootloader get started all right select your device whatever HTC device you have um, the HTC One Max is now listed. So that's it. You select that and then you click begin to unlock bootloader. They're going to give you disclaimers telling you that you'll avoid your warranty. Um, you could mess up your phone. If so, they may charge you to fix it. And you click, click those to agree and proceed to unlock. And this is telling you about powering your phone into developer mode. But off to the right here, I actually missed this initially. These are files you need. Um, you need Android SDK, as well as you need Java Runtime and HTC Sync um, gives you um, files. Scroll down, step one, step two, connect your device to the computer. Then you have to download this fast boot for windows and proceed to step number five now this is where they kind of left us hanging um before you can do step five you have to go to your computer and i just did everything on my desktop because it's easier you have to create an android file that's this file that i have right here um if you need to know how to do that you just right click on your desktop go to new It'll give you the option for folder, click folder, and then you can name it Android. After I did that, I had to then put these files in this Android folder. Those files 
came from this Android SDK zip. So you have to go to your downloads, um, which is right here. Um, you see uh, Android SDK. I don't see it. Let me scroll. I think I moved it to another folder. Um, I have HTC root. So you have your Android SDK Fastboot ADB. That's what you downloaded from the website. If you open that, it's going to have all of those files inside. ADB EXE, ADB Win API, DLL, and Fastboot EXE. You have to extract these. So you click extract, it's on your desktop, it's going to ask you your location, click desktop, click Android folder, and then click extract, and then from there it'll all go into your Android folder, which will then bring you back here. Now what you have to do after that is you have to put this Android folder here that you just extracted everything to you have to put that in your C drive. So you have to take this, press copy, get you a copy, go into your C drive, which go into the folder. You click C, I already created one, but once you do it, you just right click and then press paste. And you would now have your Android folder in your C drive. Okay. After that, you open your command prompt. For those of you who don't know how to do it, if you're in Windows 7, you go to your start menu, you press CMD, command prompt option will come up. If you're in Windows 8 and you haven't put it on your taskbar like, like I have, you open up your charms, you go to your start menu, you come back, you go to search, and you type in CMD here it's going to come up and you just click it right okay so you're opening your command prompt you have to excuse me I have uh, allergies and um, once you do you're going to want to um, I'm going to do this this is an easy way to show you you're going to want to type this let this be the first thing you type. And it's um, C, let me move up C. Yes. It's C, D, space, C, colon, forward slash, capital A, Android. And then press enter. Once you do that, then from the HTC dev um, website, you go into the instructions that tell you to copy this fast boot OEM get identifier token copy this and then paste it into your command prompt on the next line you can see I've done that here I'm gonna show you where I've done it on the second line highlight it on my code okay so this is what's highlighted you copy and you paste it once you get the C colon forward slash Android then you copy and paste that that is the step that they miss telling us how to create a folder so that it would come up once you do that the token's going to come up. Of course, my token is now gone because it's completed. But when your token comes up, it's going to look just like it looks on this web page. And what you need to do is what I've been doing. You go into your command prompt. I had to right click, select all, and then click the area that I wanted. And then once I clicked it, I was able to left click, drag, and then highlight everything I wanted like that. It does it like a box. 
So that's what you'll do to your token. And then you have to do the controls with your keyboard. So you have to cont uh, press control C, which is right here. You press control, then you press C. And that will copy it for you. And then when you get back to the web page, you scroll down past this to this and you paste it and that's all mine mine is already pasted in there then once you paste it oh no it's not it's here okay so I put it here just so I could paste it again and show you the process I put it in a, a sticky note so this is like I'm taking it from my command prompt and I'm gonna copy then I'm gonna go to the website and you just simply right click and paste then you press submit and then it says if it's unlocked if it's if, if, if it was successful this is the message you will get token submitted successfully and then it'll tell you it sends you an email I'm going to go into my email and show you. When you get the email, it's going to be from... Let's go back so we can look at the title. It's going to say HTC Unlock Bootloader. You click that email. And then here's the attachment. You have to download the attachment, which you'll see here. I did download it. Once you download it, the best thing to do is right click, go into show folder. And once you do that, it's there. You're going to have to copy this and put this in the same folder that you put. You made the Android folder. So you got to go back to the C drive, go here to Android, right click and paste. Once you do that, another they're going to give you another link to click and it's going to tell you another command that's here so you go into your email you click the link that they give you it'll open up a page it'll open up a page for you and then when you go to this page this is the command prompt and i'll show you where i put it in my command prompt that's this hold on let me oh. I have to select all and so you do the cdc colon forward slash android again once you get that, then you come here and you paste this command. Um, once you paste that command uh, and press enter, the option on your phone is going to come up. It's going to ask you, do you want to unlock bootloader? Yes or no. Because it's still in bootloader mode, you're going to have to press the volume up key to select yes. And then press uh, power to select yes. Um, to choose yes so you select yes and then you choose yes and then your phone is going to reboot and your bootloader will be unlocked um, I hope this video helped some of you thank you bye bye